Ever since Google released its Android TV platform in 2016, it's had this backdrop where it displays different pictures, and then down here in the corner, it says Chromecast built in. Well, to me, that means that it should have every feature that a Chromecast does, but sadly, it has been missing some many important features. Well, I'm happy to report that Google has now released two of my most requested features to Android TVs, one of them being the ability to see what's playing on the Android TV in the Google Home app. The second, which is the most requested, is the ability to choose Google Photos to display on your TV. Let me show you how it works. Let's get started. Hey everybody, welcome to Tech with Brett, where I help tech work for you. So to get these new features working, the first thing you need to do is go on your Android TV device and go into the Google Play Store. So we're just gonna go over here, and then we're going to scroll over to the My Apps section. So over here at the top, you can see My Apps, and then you're gonna make sure that all of your apps are updated. Now the specific app you want to check is the Daydream or the Backdrop application. And if I open this up and push up and click here, you can see over here on the side, it says I'm on version 1.4.9. And ever since this update happened, I've noticed I've been able to use these features and they've kind of been turning on and off the last few days, but hopefully everything will work for you. So now that we have Daydream updated on the application, I'm gonna go ahead and play a movie. So let's say I play a movie or my kids are watching a movie. And now I want to control that movie and I don't have my Android TV remote for whatever reason. So if I come in here to the Google Home application, I'd make sure that it is updated. You can see that right here under media, something is playing. So now Netflix is playing just like I had casted to it and I can quickly pause and play. So it just makes it so convenient that whatever's playing on Android TV, I now have controls instantly here in the Google Home application. Now, if I scroll down to the bedroom here, under bedroom TV, I can click on this. And now this is where it's kind of iffy. For some reason, it's not connecting here, um, but usually you'll see a play and pause button right here. And then I also have my volume controls uh, that I can use right here. So that's one feature that I've been waiting for for a long time, so I'm really glad that that is finally here. So now the second feature is being able to add your own photos to the screensaver over here on Android TV. And to do that, we're gonna head down here into the Android TV device, and we're going to select Settings, and then here we have Ambient Mode. Now typically on Android TV, you'd only see Art Gallery and Experimental but now we have the Google Photos option finally. So if I select Google Photos, and then I can choose a few albums or certain people or whatever, once I select that and go back, now Google Photos has been set and we can select back. And now over on the TV, you could either wait five minutes for it to show up or I can go into the settings here, device preferences, and I can go down to screensaver and make sure that you have screensaver set to backdrop. And you could have it start five minutes, 15 minutes, 30, one hour, two hours. So I like the five minutes so I can quickly see pictures and then um, put the device to sleep. You could have it so that screen turns off, but I'm gonna choose never so the pictures always play and then we're going to select start. Now it will show one of its automatically generated photos at the beginning, but after that first picture, once it goes to the next, it will begin showing your Google Photos. So now you can see that this is one of my main pictures and over here it's actually showing that that is from the recent highlights. So this is something I've really been waiting for for so long, so it's awesome that it is there. So usually in the Google Home app, you'll see what picture is displayed over there, but this Android TV is having some issues. But if I head back into the ambient mode, <laughs> there you can see Google Photos went away. So I really don't know what's going on, but it does work just gotta be a bit patient. And then here you have, uh, you can choose to show the weather, you can choose to show time, and here you can choose the slideshow speed. So five seconds, 10 seconds, all the way up to 10 minutes. All right, let's try another TV. So here you can see on my link bar, it is showing my own photos. And here in the Google Home application, it is showing that same photo right here. And if I select personalized ambient mode, it's giving me all the options, just like you would see 
on a Google Smart Display, which is really cool. So let's go back and now let me play something here on the TV. Let's jump into YouTube. And there we go, we started playing something. So now is what we're going to do. And here you can see in the link bar, if I tap on link bar, instantly you can see I have controls. So I can select pause, play, I can even skip and go to the next video right here and then I can control where I am at on that video. So this is something I've been waiting for for so long to be able to do. So it's awesome that you now have those controls right here. So it's working great on the link bar. Um, I'm having some issues on the other TV there, but uh, yeah, it is now available on Android TV. So it looks like there's still a tiny bit of work that needs to be done to make this perfectly seamless, but I'm so happy to be able to have the option to show Google Photos on my Android TV. I no longer have to have a Chromecast plugged in just to show those photos. So really awesome that Google has finally allowed this integration to happen. Now the last thing Android TV really needs to be able to do is have full power functions from the Google Assistant. So I just barely set up this Hisense H8 GTV and it will not let me turn it off or turn it on with the Google Assistant. Now my link bar, for whatever reason, does have those power controls, so I am able to turn it on and off, but uh, some of the Android TVs don't, so I would like that to be added, just like a Chromecast, and then Android TV can finally be at like the perfect level. So if you do have any further questions about getting this set up, and if you have success, please let me know in the comments below. And if you would like to see some Android TV devices that you can check out, check out my videos over here on the side. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you on the next one.